All right, welcome everyone, and right now we're going to be looking at the combined mode of uh, Diesel with all the other uh, not stunticons of the Motor Squad and two M3 or Intimidator he was called, but it's M3 Intimidator. We'll just know him as Menasaur. But yeah, so here we go. Let's start and getting this guy ready. So first thing you want to do is uh, start with his arms. When it come and rotate this section around you know, fold these back up but what you want to do is like twist instead of like pegging this here you want to peg it here into this hole so you want to line that up right fold it there open that there you go just do the same over here lift rotate Rotate. And there. That's one that you want to do. Take his head and rotate it around. Come here and pop this open. And probably a good idea to snap this this off for now. Lift. Pop that open more. Slide this out and pull out the combined mode head. It helps if you push the other head in, and there you go. You want to come here, fold this down, like back down, and then peg that into here. It can be a little tricky, but not impossible. Just take that. There you go. Rotate. And this whole section will snap back. There you go. Everything lined up properly there. And as you can see, there's the head. And <sighs> Okay, enough of that. There's your two heads. Yeah. Now here comes, like, one of the scarier parts. You want to rotate this section. So. You know, it be a little scary to do. There you go. Yeah, rotate that whole section around. You want to take these and just fold this whole section over. A lot easier if you start with folding these out and over already, pulling this out ever so slightly. And just folding all of this and snapping it in like there. And there you go. You want to try to get these joints into this here. This can be a little tricky, but and then combine this with like a snapping part up here for it. There you go. Whew. All right. There you go. Snap all these together like so. And you want to come here. And to rotate, the, like there's two sections here, rotate everything. Yeah, the top and the bottom. Last time you just rotated the, uh, that section, rotate everything so that you get the this section here. These plates that cover everything. Now you want to work on the uh, leg pieces, and this can be a little challenging. So first things first, snap that open. Rotate this out. What you want to do is like fold this even more, and then there's like a peg here. You want to get that pegged into there. So rotate this up, down, and you want to, okay, lift that up sideways, and rotate the whole thing over so that you can peg it in there. Once you do that, come here and take in this section. You want to. I better if you snap this off for, like, for now. Lift and collapse that into the top. Be a little tricky getting back, and there's a thing here which will peg in there. And there you go. That's one of the legs. So just 
carefully turn this. It's a little tricky, but once you get the hang of it, snap these sections in there. And there you go. There's your torso for your not menasaur. You can see the hollow section here. You want to take this piece, put in the handle, and you want to fold the wheels, these over here, these two here. And you can see the two peg holes here. You want to peg these into the, basically the back of the head here. Just line those up and push. There you go. There's your main upper body. I just put that to the side for now. Now you got to form the rest of the legs. So, come here and kind of like this piece. Pop this open and remove the hand. Turn that around. And you can see lots of great articulated finger points, ball joints, and other articulation in the hand. And it also has a built-in wrist swivel, so very nice there. And then the, this is the shoulder piece. So you pull this out for now and put that to the side. You come here, you take these two pieces, and you fold them in, line them properly, and just snap them shut. Then you take these sides, fold them out over, and snap them together, forming the front of the foot. And lift this part. It's on both a ball joint and a click. And pull that over, make it go well, and there's your foot. As you can see, slides in and out, and a ball joint. So there's your foot. I like how this foot is much more involved than, uh, <clears throat> than the one for the uh, Bruticus one. Yeah, so then you grab one of these, lift this one all the way, and snap it in. You'll notice that this little pegs here will peg together, so it will keep the leg lined up. Close that together, and there you go. They just take the cannons here and put them inside the other uh, gun barrels here. And there's one of your legs right there. They just repeat for the other side. Pop open, pull out the hand, snap out the connector joint, fold it over, pull out the feet, ankle. There you go. Now one of the nice things is that you can see these black sections are actually rubbers so that it will maintain the foot quite firm. So that's another uh, nice thing about this. And just snap these in, snap these in, connect together, and that forms your legs. Now to connect the legs onto this one here, you want to, again, just like the other one, you want to put them in backwards. Yep, just push it in. There you go. Then just rotate it around and it'll snap in there quite securely. I wish the uh, arms were uh, like this. There you go. And just rotate that around. And there are your legs. Now, some people will complain and say, well, it's not really a combiner because he already has his legs. You know, like, yeah, what do you want? I mean, these right here are very thin cars. They would make for very crappy limbs. You know, unlike, say, the tank or the uh, Humvee that come with the Bruticus. So, I thought this was a nice way to incorporate all that extra stuff. And I like how they let you use it as weapons. As well as uh, other accessories. So... I'm going to snap this part out ever so slightly, and I sanded these pieces down originally, so this would go down further, and you can see this triangle pattern, it goes into this, and there's the mysterious uh, crotch hole, it's like that, on that, and you just snap that in, there you go, snap it in, and that's how you get the car crash on there.
Last chain's pretty much the same, although he's a little easier to get out because these pieces just slide to the side much easier. And just slide that down. Make sure. Slide these back there. Grab here. And there you go. There are your completed legs. Now the arms are a little trickier. So it's like, you're, you know, let's start with the downforce. You want to come down here, pull out his gun. So grab the two pieces of his gun and put them together. Put to the side till now. You kind of need to transform him ever so slightly, just the way he's built. Yeah, so what you want to do is like unsnap, snap this top portion. And pull this out. Slide these out. And you just want to pull out the legs. But snap these apart. Getting those feet out is a pain. Make sure you don't lose the toes. Pull out the whole leg. There you go. Then push this back down. Close this section back up. Put the top section back into the car mode.